Uh, Greg, getting into the business end of the season, it must have been a bit of a shock the news this week about Luke Gale's illness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a freak accident that could have happened to anyone. I mean, it could have waited three weeks, but um, now obviously we're, we're gutted and we're gutted for Gailey more than anything. So hopefully he can rest up and be back in the next next few weeks and play in the big games. I guess that's it. There is still time potentially for it to come round, but also there's the quality in this squad to make sure that you know this is not a, a, an end of season setback, so to speak. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully he'll be back. He's a big player for us, but if if not, then uh, you know we've got we've got players who can play there, and we've got a few young lads that, that can play there as well. So we'll be all right. We we'll have to get we we'll have to get on with it. It's, it's obviously not great, but we just got to get on with it. And looking at it, obviously the semi-final two weeks away, but you've got two massive games before then. You've got to go to Wigan, you've got Hull at home, and both teams really desperate for wins to try and get in the playoffs. Yeah, definitely they've got a lot to play for. They're aiming for that top four, which is motivation enough for any team. And we're looking at building some momentum and, and being on top form at the top of our game when we when we come to that semi-final. So if that means playing without Gailey, then it gives. It gives whoever's going to be playing there a, a few weeks to, to get used to it and we just build some momentum into that semi-final. It's going to be tough at Wigan, isn't it? They're a big physical side. Is that what type of game you're expecting, a big physical battle? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's always tough playing Wigan. They're a big, they're a big tough side and they come after you both in attack and defence. So we'll have to be there. We'll have to be fired up to, to go there and get the win. They'll obviously be playing to make that top four. So both teams have got a lot to play for. There's quite a rivalry building up between Wigan and Castleford uh, at the moment. Are you sensing that within, or is it just us on the outside making more of it? <laughs> I'm not really sure, to be honest. We, I, we kind of stay out of that stuff, concentrate on ourselves and, and just go there with a job to do and hopefully get it done. And looking at it, then obviously they've got a, an array of talent that you might be coming up in direct opposition against. Uh, how hard is it when you're not quite sure who you're going to be playing against? I mean, it can be difficult, but we we do we do a lot of video and we do a lot of uh, prep work, so we'll know what pretty much every player does, and, and if if they play there, then we should know a little bit about them, so we should be alright. Uh, and looking forward to it. Um, coming off a, a good result against Leeds, what did you make of the performance? Um, we were a bit scratchy. We played well in the first half for a bit, and then uh, we dropped off in the second half. That was nothing like those. It wasn't it wasn't the standards we set ourselves there at Cass. So. A bit disappointed in the second round performance, but better then than in the semi final. So we'll try get try get playing better and build that momentum for the semi final. Uh, it's been a season of, of first really. We spoke to you about your first magic weekend, you know, winning the league leaders shield, and now you just out from the playoffs. How exciting a season has it been, and how exciting is it? What's to come? Oh, massively! Yeah. It's a bit surreal at times. You keep having to pinch yourself, but you know we're all excited for that semi final and. Winning the league leaders was, was a massive achievement, and we um, we're happy we did that. But now we're just putting that aside for for a few weeks whilst we concentrate on the semi final, which we're all really excited for. And how big an advantage is it? I know you've got Wigan to come, and you've got to play Hull before that. But how big an advantage is it that you're going to be down here at the Jungle? Oh, massive! Yeah, we've, we're hard to beat down here. We've only is it one game we've lost down here, so yeah, it's a tough place to come. That was what our aim was in pre-season: was to make the Jungle a tough a tough place to come and make sure no one wanted to come and play here and, and come in here and get the win which unluckily we've uh, we lost the Saints so we'll try and keep that home record going until the end of the season uh, Has anything been made the fact that you could decide who gets in the top four has anything been made about that within the camp? No nothing like that we're just trying to we're just trying to concentrate on ourselves and, and play well in these next coming games for that semi-final and then build momentum like I've been saying we've just got to try pull our game together as best we can until that semi-final comes around.